According to the Maine Bureau of Highway Safety, there were 16 people struck and killed by cars last year in Maine. Now officials are hoping that a new grant can help those numbers go down. But for one man from Herman, it's about much more than just money that might prevent another fatal accident like the one his family suffered. News Center Maine's Jackie Mundry reports. Michael was my youngest boy. Doug Sinclair remembers his son, who often helped out at his towing company. And he was working on a tow truck that night trying to recover a car up over the bank. Sinclair is still in the towing business, and he says he sees this all the time. He says people drive too fast and don't pay attention to the road. Heed to what the law says. When you see yellow lights, or emergency lights, pull over and give us room. Sinclair says he still thinks of his son Michael all the time and wonders what he would have been like now and if he would have fulfilled his dream of becoming a Maine State Trooper. Many other families feel the same pain. 16 families this past year. More than twice the number of pedestrians hit and killed last year. People aren't paying attention when they're either driving or when they're walking. That's Nick Brown with the Maine Bureau of Highway Safety. The department identifies 21 of Maine cities and towns as high risk for this kind of accident. Now the department is offering grant money to local police departments to focus their efforts on pedestrian safety. As much as $10,000 is available to each department. So far we know we have gotten grants from about four of the, um, four of the police departments and we do expect to see more too in the future. So whether you're behind the wheel or walking around town. Officials want to urge you to always pay attention, keep your eyes on the road, and look both ways before crossing the street. In Augusta, Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine. So two more tips from the Bureau of Highway Safety. Wear bright colored clothing, especially at night. And if you are walking around in winter time and can't use the sidewalk because of the ice and snow, you should walk facing traffic.